This week's villain is Vlad the Impaler. He's from Romania. Vlad the Impaler is also called Dracula, which means son of the dragon. Vlad's dad was a king who called himself the dragon. You know, I'd be cool if my dad was a dragon. Uh, you might also know him as the inspiration for Dracula, which became like really big Hollywood and all these movies. Dracula's been played by all these famous actors like Bella Lugosi, Gary Oldman, and Robert Pattinson. I, I think all of them probably won an Oscar. Back then, it's a totally different time. There a lot of fighting and swords clashing, people dying, and just it was just a bad, bad time. And it was food on the ground, and you know, skies like red, and blood dripping from the sun. There was a big issue between the Muslims and the Christians. They're going at it. Romania was directly between Hungary and the Ottoman Turkish Empire. I guess when Vlad was young, he was sent to uh, he was sent to the Turks with his uh, younger brother, and they were sent as like hostages to keep the peace. At this time, you know, the Muslims rulers collected young boys. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird. They they sort of gave him a real education, but he ended up turning that education against them by becoming the number one Turk killer in the medieval world. You know, he got the nickname the Impaler because of the way he dealt with criminals and warlords and prisoners and douchebags. Girls who lost their virginity, unfaithful wives, uh, scarecrows and widows. Strippers weren't the first people to make Poles famous. 